stay bitterly cold all the way until tomorrow morning. We'll slowly come out of the freezer box tomorrow. And then even milder air on Wednesday. That'll be our next system, and that will come with a bit of a wintry mix. But until then, we are still in it with the very, very cold temperatures, so much so that it can be quite dangerous. And for more on that, we're going to send it over to Storm Team Meteorologist Lindsay. Rachel, good morning, Lindsay. Good morning. You know, I got to say, after live coverage this morning, this afternoon isn't as bad, but it's still very cold. And I had to take my one glove off to operate my anemometer here. I'm measuring a wind chill of about eight degrees outside our studio, and the sun is trying to poke through uh, eight degrees below zero. Let me correct that. I'm so sorry. It's still very cold out. And I do have some tips for you if you're going to be heading out, maybe taking advantage of the fresh powder that we have. Uh, ski slopes, a big day for them. It's just very cold. So be sure to layer up, cover up as as much exposed skin as possible and make sure you stay dry. Don't forget about your furry friends either. They get cold too, so bring them inside. Don't let them linger outside for too, too long. Again, most important thing, cover up as much exposed skin as possible because frostbite can set in in just 30 minutes. Now, I also have a little experiment. Hopefully this works here. In this cup, I do have some hot water. You see the steam? Uh, we did this this morning. In case you missed it, the air is very dry. Our dew points are well below zero. Our temperatures are in the single digits, so this hot water should form a big cloud. Let's see if it does it. Ready? One, two, three. Did you see it? Did you catch it? If not, we will try to do this again later tonight, too, during the 90s, so tune in for that. Kate will have a look at when we can expect some relief coming up in just a bit. Back to you.